Sophia Storytime friends and happy holidays. Are you ready to sing with us? Oh great. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Nice job everyone. We love to sing with you friends. Are you ready for a story? Oh, I'm so excited because this story is all about the different holidays that people celebrate this time of year. And it's called Light the Lights by Margaret Mormon. One morning, Emma's father raised the shades in her room and said, Emma, tonight's the first night of Hanukkah. Time to get out the menorah. After breakfast, Emma helped her dad take the old silver menorah out of the cabinet. They unwrapped it carefully and polished it with soft cloths until it was nice and shiny. That night at sundown, Emma's mom helped Emma light the first candle for the first night of Hanukkah on that beautiful silver menorah. She's being very careful. And every night for a week and a day, they added another candle. Emma's father would say, let's light the lights. And they would light another candle on the menorah. All the people passing by would look up and see it shining beautifully right through the window. On the fourth night of Hanukkah, Uncle Ken and Aunt Betsy came to Emma's house with her cousins, Sam and Kate. Kate was too little to play the dreidel game, but she liked to watch Sam and Emma spin the top. Then when it was time for dinner, Baby Kate got to taste her first lockies. Those are the crisp potato pancakes made especially for Hanukkah. Yummy. Grandma Rose came to celebrate on the eighth night of Hanukkah. That was the last night. She and Emma danced together hand in hand. At last, all the candles were lit. The full menorah looked so beautiful. Then one day, Emma's mother pulled down boxes of Christmas ornaments from the top shelf of the closet. Well, Emma, shall we pick out our Christmas tree this morning? Mm, exciting. Emma put on her jacket and her boots and scarf and mittens and went outside with her mom and dad to search for the perfect tree. The tree was heavy, so Emma helped her mom and dad carry it home. They all said Merry Christmas to their neighbors along the way. Even this little puppy, he got a new red sweater in early Christmas presents. After lunch, Emma's friends Natalie and Patrick came over to help trim the Christmas tree. And Emma's mom made hot cocoa and cookies. Good. Emma's father played the piano and everyone sang Christmas carols. Oh, that was so fun. When all of the decorations were out of their boxes and on the tree, Emma's mother said, let's light the lights. And they plugged in the lights on the Christmas tree. Nice and shiny. On Christmas Eve, while Emma was sleeping in the dark house, Santa Claus came. He tiptoed quietly in and left presents under the Christmas tree. Look at all those pretty lights. After the holidays, Emma helped wrap up the Hanukkah menorah and the Christmas ornaments and put them safely away until next year. But she remembered the bright winter lights 
in the dark winter nights for a long, long time. I love to see the holiday lights. Do you, friends? Yes. What a special story. There's so many nice holidays that people celebrate this time of year, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. They're all special, aren't they? Let's see if we can do a little finger play about lights around the holidays. And in this story, we're going to learn the, the sign for share, which is a nice sign to know this time of year and all year. So for share, we're gonna put our thumb up like this and take our other hand in the same way and go back and forth like we're sharing. Some for you, some for me. Some for you, some for me. Good job. Are you ready to try it? Candle, candle, burning bright on the windowsill tonight welcomes you to come in here and share in all the holiday cheer. Good job, everyone. Well, we hope that you will have a safe and happy holiday with your family. And until next time, please be safe, be kind, and keep on reading. And today's story was called Light the Lights by Margaret Mormon, and we'd like to thank the publisher, Scholastic Books, for letting us share it with you. Bye, everyone.